Hey everybody, it's John Hope Bryant, uh, founder, chairman, CEO of Operation Hope, America's first and only nonprofit financial services network for the poor, the struggling class, the teetering class, uh, the working class, folks with too much month at the end of their money. Uh, I'm back to you live and no chasing uh, with the civil rights movement. Uh, and I know, hello, uh, you guys signing on, Jordan and others uh, signing on. I see you signing on. I wanted to let you know that we are live, so I do see you. I'm going to get right to uh, hey Manel, Lett, and others. I'm going to get right to the heart of the matter. Uh, a couple things have changed uh, in a couple weeks, like everything. So no matter where you are on the political spectrum, no matter whether you're on the left or you're the right, whether you're black or you're white, uh, whether you're from a bread state or a blue state, whether you're here or whether you're around the country, around the world, uh, one thing is for sure, you're either mad as hell or you're as depressed as you can be. Um, you're distressed, you're wondering what's going on uh, in the world. Uh, but you might recall now that I told you uh, days ago, weeks ago, months ago, as we started this series, that you can't be angry for a living. That being angry was not a strategy. Uh, that whatever decision you make emotionally is going to be a bad decision. Whatever decision you make emotionally will be wrong. I talked in another video before uh, this one, right after the election, about how we have to heal. And that's really how we have to go forward. We have to heal America. We have to love America back uh, into shape. But that's not how uh, you're going to survive. That's how we're going to survive. We've got to love each other back into shape. But I, I have a message for you. Uh, the next uh, four years, uh, and this is not a partisan comment. This is not about who's president or who's not. Uh, this is about you. One thing is for sure. Whatever the civil rights meant for you before, it should mean 10 times more of that to you today. One thing is absolutely for sure. You are more on your own than you ever were. One thing is absolutely for sure. You got to move from mad as hell to as prosperous as you can be. Now, let me start by uh, giving a commercial for folks who didn't vote. Um, maybe we'll start reading the Constitution now. Maybe we'll start sitting down with our children and reading the Bill of Rights. Uh, maybe we will start sitting down and reading uh, Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech and the letter from a Birmingham jail. Maybe we'll read about Dr. Dorothy Height and her incredible civil rights successes. Uh, maybe we'll uh, read about our history, um, where we're from, what this country's about, what a electoral college means. Uh, maybe we will uh, understand uh, our state of our government and how it works so you know when you're being disenfranchised and, when, and how you can be empowered. Maybe this crisis will call us all forward to reclaim our country. As, as Andrew Young said, this is not my country. This is my country. <laughs> so you cannot have a rainbow without a storm first, right? Hey, Tiffany, I see you. You cannot have a, a rainbow without a storm first. It's a scientific fact. You cannot have a rainbow without a storm first. So maybe, just maybe, this will cause us to double down and take our lives and our democracy more seriously. You have to start re- Claiming, as my friend Bernice A. King, Dr. King's daughter, Bernice A. King, told me you got to reclaim your democracy every single day. You cannot take anything for granted. You cannot sleep uh, on the job. The world will clock you if you're not paying attention. So maybe this will cause people to double down and get serious about taking back their community, their life, their street, and their family. But if you're one of those people who just did not vote, you're Kanye West and you're proud that you did not vote. You're stupid enough to say it on a, on a, on a, on a stage in front of 10,000 people. Or you're... Uh, the football player whose name, thankfully, I can't remember at the moment. What's the guy's name, uh, uh, Trevor? Kaepernick? Yeah. Who proudly said he yeah, could not, he, he didn't want to vote. Yeah, Kaepernick, I think it is. Uh, you know what? I don't, have, I don't have any words for you. Uh, and I hope you don't have any children that you're telling this stupid stuff to. If you want to be stupid, be stupid on your own dime. But if you have a child, watch how you live your life and maybe the only Bible that anybody else reads. Anybody telling their child not to vote, not to have a job not to get an education, uh, to not believe in this system. Why'd you bring that child in this world in the first place if you didn't bring a child in this world prepared to change the world? Uh, if you're going to be cynical, then be cynical on your own, but don't uh, uh, subcontract that drama to somebody else. You cannot subcontract your democracy uh, or, your, or your fight to live to anybody else. So uh, you're hearing passion in my voice. You're hearing uh, 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 joy and commitment and redetermination, but you're not hearing anger. Because anger only hurts, hurt people hurt people. Anger only hurts the person who's doing the anger. If your body's 70% water, 
and you're getting hot and steamy all the time, uh, then guess what? You're cooking your organs. You're prematurely uh, dying. You are killing yourself. If you are hating on somebody else and understand that disease is dis-ease, that a lot of disease is dis-ease. So hurt people hurt people. And whatever goes around comes around. So watch how you live your life. And it may be the only Bible anybody else reads. So I'm trying to take five million kids and make smart cool to, so kids want to stay in school because every 26 seconds, one child drops out of high school. That's the practical stuff I'm trying to deal with. And we don't need to, to, to make matters worse on top of that in elections that don't make anybody happy by then telling our kids not to go to school, not to get a job, don't believe in this system and not to vote. Do not do that. If you want to screw up, screw yourself up. Don't screw anybody else's up, anybody else's life up. So, so this is message to self. We got, we got to stop being angry right now. Stop getting angry and get as much prosperity as you can handle. Uh, to, so, so that's the operational mission. That's civil rights. Civil rights was in the streets, and you saw people, you know, yes, riding in the streets, and they were protesting in the streets. I was actually even proud of young people standing up for what they believe, but if they didn't go vote before they protested, I also have nothing else to say to them. It's a little too late for that, ready, fire, aim. So, so you have a president now, uh, we think. You know, there's still, democracy's messy, but let's just say right now it's settled. Okay, get on with it. Get on with it. Empower your life, because now you are on your own. You have got to become a homeowner now. You can't have got to go get a job. Now, it should be very clear to you, no one's going to take care of you. The state is going to be doing less, not more. And we hope that all the social safety nets stay in place. Uh, but uh, you cannot guarantee that. You cannot assume that. You've got to assume that nothing can be assumed and that you're going to have to take control of your life. But by the way, it's always a good thing anyway. I believe in the James Brown version of affirmative action. I put that on my page earlier. What's that? Open the door, I'll get it myself. I believe in the James Brown version of affirmative action. Open the door, I'll get it myself. That's right, give that a thumbs up. There's, so we've been doing so much with so long, with so little. We can almost do anything with nothing. We've been doing so much with so little for so long. We can almost do anything with nothing. If you can't get a job, create a job. Go to Operation Hope and sign up to the entrepreneurship training program. Sign up to the small business program. Let me show you how to start a business, young person for $500 or less. Let me walk you through the Operation Hope, Hope Business in the Box Academies, where we're getting, giving kids a course in financial literacy, your ultimate resiliency, ability to take care of yourself, the memo, get, teaching kids uh, entrepreneurship, uh, 25 businesses you can start for $500 or less. Let the kid pitch on their auditorium, boom, think Shark Tank for kids. The kid gets two minutes, timer, judges, no celebrity, so that it's relatable. When the kids win the pitch, we fund the business up to $500. Boom. I didn't need government for that. I didn't need the president for that. I didn't need Congress for that. I didn't need the Senate for that. I need you and me for that and 500 bucks. In fact, for a, a mid, middle school kids, I can do it for 100 bucks. Uh, elementary school kids. Middle school kids can do it for 250 bucks. We spend 250 bucks on some, some lousy shoes, ladies. We spend 200 bucks, gentlemen, on a night out at a club that nobody's going to remember tomorrow. But you can take $200 and fund the kids' business, put them in the, in the ice cream selling business or the lemonade selling business uh, or the candy selling business, as, 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 as happened to me, and change that kid's life. Or high school kids, $500. And we can do that scale across this country. You own a business somewhere, you're, running, you're working in an office, you're a teacher, you're, you're, whatever you're doing, you're a, you're a trash collector. Dr. Dr. King said, if you're going to be a trash collector, be the best trash collector the world has ever seen. That no one can ride your back, he said, unless you're bent over. Do not be a victim. This is the wrong time. I guarantee you it's out of vogue. Do not be a victim. You will be trampled on. Do not lay down. Somebody will walk on you. You've got to stand up, put your shoulders back, your head up, and demand this is my country. And when they won't give you a job, you go create your own job. And be the role model and the change you want to see in our world. Don't let anybody take your country from you or tell you that this is not your country. Don't let elites and those who uh, are really taking care of themselves create another world, another universe of prosperity that is absent you. Go claim your own victory. That's what we do at Operation Hope. If you're, on, you're a young person, become a small business owner, an entrepreneur. Get your financial literacy so, so when you can get a job, no one's taking, taking advantage of you. 
uh, when you're an adult, raise your credit score to 700 because nothing changes your life more than God or love than moving your credit score 120 points. <laughs> Boom. A 500 credit score community is at risk from anybody who wants to take advantage of you. Black community, Latino community, white community, but those who are Caucasian seeing this video, this, is for, this message is for you too. If you're in a 500 credit score neighborhood, you're like the police officer, white police officer that was guarding uh, President Clinton, myself, and President George Bush, George H.W. Bush. I love that bipartisan message. When we were down in Katrina helping with the, the response of Hurricane Katrina, and we're helping with earned income tax credit, and the, and the police officer was sort of off in his own world, and we said, why aren't you in line? He said, what do you mean? We said, do you make less than $50,000 a year? Yes, I do. Do you know what EITC is? No, I don't. If you don't know what EITC is, Earned Income Tax Credit, I see that Michael Luke 760 credit score, bravo. If you don't know what EITC is, you're approved. Because everybody in America making $50,000 a year or less is qualified with EITC. There's a cousin on your, on your, pouch, on your couch right now asking you for a loan. You, everybody got a cousin boo-boo. Come on now. Everybody got a cousin boo-boo or a, a cousin Latronia or a Tanya who don't have no job, who's, who, who's begging you for a loan, begging you for, 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 for a handout. But if she's working, right, and she's making $28,000 a year and has two children, the government owes her $4,000 for working. And if you have to file this retroactive for three years, that's $12,000. Imagine what you could do with $12,000. Come on now. Now, this is something to march about. Come on now. Ten billion dollars went back to the federal treasury last year while we're protesting about other things we are having 10 billion dollars walk out of our community because we're not financially literate that's how much money one out of four americans who qualify for eitc and never asked for it so that police officer protecting george bush george aw bush myself and president clinton both good men by the way yeah i said it both good men bipartisan love they can disagree without being disagreeable. None of this getting personal stuff and calling people names. Rising above the fray, learning that we can learn from the left and the right and bring it all together for what's right. And we told that police officer, get in line because he qualified for EITC too. You see, it's not about white, black, red, brown, or yellow. It's about having some more green. So your cousin Boo Boo, everybody got a cousin Boo Boo, white cousin Boo Boo, black cousin Boo Boo, Trevor over here, my IT got a cousin Boo Boo, right? Uh, all of them begging you for something. Go get it. Go tell them to, to if they if they work in anywhere to go to their tax preparer or come to Operation Hope, and we'll help them get them qualified for EITC. Put that money in a bank account so you're not getting ripped off by check cashers and payday loan lenders and rental own stores and title lenders that are preying on you in a 500 credit score neighborhood, pimping you in broad daylight. You're being robbed, as as, as Malcolm X said. You're being bamboozled. You're being tricked. You're being robbed in broad daylight. But you know a 700 credit score community does not riot. I said this on the Roland Martin show. I'm going to say it again. 700 credit score communities don't ride. You've never seen a riot in a 700 credit score community in your life. Not a black one, not a white one, not a Latino one, not an Asian one. So what happened in this election? It was an election of, it was a, it was a riot of the pocket of the vote and the pocketbook, the books, the bank accounts, uh, <laughs> and the buck. That's what it was a riot about. People had cratering jobs and it snuck up on us and we didn't pay attention to our black and brown brothers in inner cities or our white brothers in rural America. Our struggling white folks who had a job at $90,000 got laid off in 2009, got another job at $50,000, but now are underemployed even though they are employed, they're still stressed out. And we have to accept that brother as our brother. We are all in this mess together because you can take no pleasure in the fact there's a hole in my end of our boat. You can take no pleasure from the fact, Caucasian leader in rural Alabama, that there's a hole in my in our end of my uh, in my end of our boat. Because when I sink, you sink. You see, we're not against each other. Black person, you cannot be against the, the white person, the poor white person, the poor white person. You cannot be against the, the poor black person. Are you are you a fool? We're just shooting each other in the foot because the person who's really trying to, to take our lunch is not a person, it's a country. China's coming after us. Uh, Africa, the African continent, 54 countries coming after our prosperity, and they should, by the way. Everybody wants what we have. Russia is certainly coming after us. Broke country as they are. Yeah, they broke. Ain't got no cash, which is why they're just praying in, uh, trading in war. See, I know my history, and you need to know yours. You can be cool and smart. In fact, you can make smart sexy. In fact, I don't think there's any other way today than to make smart sexy, which is what, what that Kanye West crap, 
on the TV a few days ago was absolutely ridiculous and stupid, bragging that he didn't vote and expecting people to applaud that. Come on now. We've been making dumb sexy for too long. We've dumbed down and celebrated it. Yo, 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 man, what's up, what's up? I don't know what's up. I don't, I don't, even, know, I don't even know what you're saying. Speak English. We got a smart, making smart sexy again. Today, now, take our lives back. Stop all this mess. When you go to a date with a, bro, with a lady, brothers, when you go to a date with a, la with a lady, make sure that she uh, uh, is articulate and intelligent and thoughtful and not just cute. When you go to a date, ladies, with a dude and, you, and he's a cute guy at the club, make sure you check his credit, <laughs> okay? Uh, make sure he got a job, right? Otherwise, he's going to be living with you and eating your food and asking you to pay his bills, and that's not cool and that's not sustainable. We got to stop being angry and start getting even. We need to take our lives back right now. You got to claim this is my country. Wherever you are, you say this is my country. And you can be an average citizen and have an extraordinary life. Don't get mad. Get even. Don't hit somebody with a brick. No. Hit them with your American Express black card and knock them out. Go to Operation Hope. Become a small business owner. Become an entrepreneur. Own your own home. Don't pay off somebody else's mortgage when you can pay for your own. Now, if you want to come rent, rent for me. I, I've got apartment buildings and houses. You can rent for me. It's all good. I, I'm going to give you a chance to own it in time, but most people won't. Uh, go get your credit score up. Uh, go get your financial literacy up before you go get your club up, <laughs> okay? Go, don't make sure, make sure your car is not the most expensive thing in your house. Make sure that your car note don't, is, not more, is more expensive than your house note. Make sure that you got a house note. Make sure you not don't have a Mercedes, Mercedes payments outside of a uh, 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 the housing project, all right? We got to stop this foolishness and start getting on with taking our lives back. I love you. I'm out. This is a civil rights movement. Unbought, unbought, unbossed, and unbiased. It's not about the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. Not even about the Donald Trump Party. Nope, I'm not dissing him, by the way. I'm just saying it's not about any political party. This is about the get it done party. And don't you want to get it done? And by the way, we've got to help whoever our president is to win. Make them, if anybody watching this in Washington, D.C., I've been recognized by five U.S. presidents, Republican and Democrat. I've hosted, I've, been, I've served three U.S. presidents, Republican and Democrat. I've served George W. Bush, served Obama, and served President Clinton. Been honored by President George H.W. Bush, Bush and President Reagan. So I can speak bipartisan without, speak, you know, without any uh, question of my credibility. And I'm telling you that whoever your president is, when they lose, you lose. Whenever they win, you win. So rooting for their failures, rooting for our own failure. We got to get on with moving our lives forward. Don't get angry. Stop being angry. The time is now to get as much prosperity as you can bear because your life is truly now in your hands. There is no time, there's been no time for empowerment other than today. I'm out. This is Trevor trying to get me to stop talking. Say hello, Trevor. Come on over here. Let him see you. Right. Trevor's trying to hit the uh, I'm done button. Show, show him how he's a handsome dude. He, ladies, he's available. <laughs> but you, if you're going to be with him, you need to have a credit score and a job. Uh, and you can't have 15 babies at 20 years old either because he ain't going to be broke for the rest of his life. Uh, he wants his child to call him daddy, not uh, baby daddy. What's that? You know, ain't going to be no baby daddy, are you? No, 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 no baby daddy. All right. I'm out before I get myself in trouble. I love you guys. I'll respond in the comments later. Thanks, Ursula. Uh, thank you very much.